Defense for Karen Crow, an issue in the Jamboree loss to Notre Dame, and it certainly persisted in a loss week one at Sulphur. And the secondary is going to have to continue to take steps forward. But there were some good signs in the loss at Sulphur. Let's share them right now. Rondre Charles looked devastating at times coming off of the edge. And Nick Egan's, when he wasn't having some cramping issues in the second half, really showed some things on the second level of that defense for Larry Bro. So they had trouble stopping the run early. A physical back who used to play linebacker for Sulphur kind of loosened that defense up, up the middle, and then they surrendered a lot over the top. The really disconcerting thing there is a lot of receivers running wide open and free. So missed coverages, blown assignments. Stephen Baird and company will get that straight beginning week two with the Nish Yellow Jackets coming to town. Rick Hudson's offense not going to be as explosive as Notre Dame running it or Sulphur passing it as an opportunity to get right before week three at Acadiana. But it's going to have to be the secondary that takes the next steps forward. Make sure you catch it. Z1059, pregame show at 630, kickoff at 7. Myself, Blaine Viator from the Open Air Crow Dome.